we're at Jonah's Kitchen today and we are in Los Angeles and we're showing an iPad controlling this restaurant, all the audio video stuff. Um, I'm going to give you a demonstration of what it works like. Here's the bar that we're in right now. There's the television and surrounding areas. Speakers. Speakers and stuff and all such stuff. So here we are. This is what's considered the bar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do an activity in the bar. The bar's lit up. And we're going to go to... Spectrum. Spectrum. So, we're going to see the TV come on. And there's Spectrum. It's playing through all the speakers in this area. All right. And you're watching your television. So, let's say we want to go to another, uh, let's say Roku. We just hit Roku. And there it is. Feedback. So you can have all your streaming services. And there's feedback showing you that Roku that, is on. Um, so, yeah, that, let's go to uh, Apple TV. Same idea. Makes it really simple so that your staff can easily change between uh, different channels or different uh, devices without having to have like 10 remotes. There's your Apple TV. And then we also integrated uh, music into this area with the EOS. You hit EOS. Now we got nice tunes throughout the place. And we got music on the TV. And we can turn up or down this area. It's a new restaurant that just opened up out here in Los Angeles. We even got the hallways right here, and it's also There's a couple more things on the oh. so if they're off, there's no volume. If you turn it on, you'll see the volume pop up. Um, another thing is it'll tell you what, what it's, what's on in that room. Um, and then if you need to control it, um, here's the controls for them. So, you know, say you go to Spectrum, and you have Spectrum here, and you want to change the channel, all you got to do is go into Controls and Spectrum, and it'll give you your your entire layout for your, for your controller. And you can see the Spectrum is on right now. And if I hit Guide, now the Guide's on. If you want to change the volume, uh, you look at the up here and it says bar right now so we're changing the bar volume and we can come over here and there's a room drop down or you can select say dining room and now we can turn that up or turn that down on the fly right um, we go back um, you'll see the same thing up here and you can click on which room name you want in order to uh, control the volume for that room so let's go check out some of the other areas in this restaurant and see them working. So right now we're in the hallway. This way you can go ahead and uh, change the volume or input at this location, say for whatever reason. So you know. So we want to mute it. Right now it's muted. The dining room is on right now. We can turn it back on. Oops. And then we can also change whatever we want in here also. There's the volume up on it, showing you feedback, letting you know that the volume is being turned up. We'll turn this back down for this area and check out the main dining room. So we're out in the main, living, or main uh, dining room now. And we're also able to control the sound and what input we want out here. That makes it very convenient for your staff to uh, go about the like choice of there's dining room. We can turn it off. Room off down there. Or we can turn it back on by selecting what we want to listen to. There's the audio. We can also control songs and such. And you can use almost any of your favorite uh, providers. We got um, Pandora. Pandora currently and be able to pick what song you want. And uh, Rhapsody, Sirius, uh, Tidal, TuneIn, all sorts of stuff. So 
Make, there's also other options, but this is uh, what's what's on this particular system. Um, we can also save favorites if we have certain uh, ones that we want to use. And um, we can also uh, change stations and such. So it has a lot of options on it. And it can be custom crafted to, to what you have for your particular location. And of course, do you have any questions? <laughs> have a great day, great day everyone.